Learn how you can crop a video or image in seconds with Clipchamp. Start by logging into Clipchamp or sign up for free. Next, you'll be taken inside the editor. To get started, you'll import the video or image you want to crop. Do this by clicking on the Import Media button, selecting the asset and then hitting Open. Your asset will load into the media library here. Now, just drag and drop it into the timeline to get editing. Now that your asset is in the timeline, to crop the video or image, click on the asset in your timeline and it will highlight in purple so you know it's selected. Then navigate up to the floating toolbar where these editing options will appear. Simply click on the crop button and the cropping handles will appear on the sides and corners of the video or image. All you'll need to do is drag the corners or the sides in or out. Do this until you've cropped your asset to your desired size. Once you're happy, click on the done button to action the crop. If you have made a mistake, click back into the crop button and then hit revert to original. The asset will adjust back to its original size. Now, once you've cropped your asset, you'll notice the black borders here. This will happen because the asset is no longer in its original aspect ratio size. You can leave it as it is if you'd like, but it isn't very aesthetic. So there are two ways to fix this. You can either make the asset fill the whole canvas or add a background behind it. So to fill the canvas, you'll click on the asset in the timeline, then navigate back up to the floating toolbar. Now just click on the fit or the fill button. This will resize the asset to match the aspect ratio you've selected. You can then move it around with the freehand tool until you're happy with the placement. Lastly, if you'd like to keep the asset in its original cropped size, you can add a background behind it. Do this by navigating to the toolbar and clicking into the content library tab. Select the drop down arrow of the visuals tab and then click into backgrounds. You can either use the search bar to search for something specific. You can add a plain background color or a gradient background color or jump into one of our categorized background collections. For example, the gradient backgrounds. Just scroll through the collection to see what's available. And then when you found the one you want to use, drag and drop it into the timeline, placing it below your video asset. After that's completed, make sure to play your video back to check all of your changes. And it's as simple as that. Once you're completely happy with your video and all of your edits are complete, you'll export it by heading to the export button, selecting your video quality, and once the export is complete, it will automatically download to your device. And that's how to crop a video or image with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.